Today's Wednesday and I've got a lot to do in the next five hours because later today I'm going back home, I'm going for dinner at mine and then I'm just going to be staying there for a few days. So I need to make sure that I've got everything done that I need to get done here so that I can edit everything over there in the next few days. And so the first thing that I've got to get done is obviously the thumbnail for today's vlog. But then I've got to finish the flower pastel drawing that I started yesterday. So I did a base layer on that and now I've just got to add all the details. That shouldn't take too long, maybe like an hour and then I've got to do a watercolour piece so the lion you might have seen it I showed you a few days ago I sketched it out it's the lion watercolour piece which is for the final part of the tutorial series for Patreon so I've got to get a watercolour painting done I've got to get the pastel painting finished and I've also got to do a thumbnail and I want to voice over three tutorial videos well not tutorials three YouTube videos for my main art channel so that I can get them ready for later this week and do all the thumbnails for them later on in this week. So I want to try and get all of that done before 5.45, it's about 12 something now. So I've got five hours and I'm going to try really hard to get it all done. If you guys that haven't seen this, this is what I've done so far on this piece. But obviously it's just kind of like the base layer in. I've got everything where it needs to be but now it's just about, you know, hyping up the colours and adding all of the details. But before I actually start that, I've got to do a load of photos for today's thumbnail. Just do like a random photo shoot of lots of different pictures and poses so that I can pick one for the thumbnail. It's going to be on, well you've already seen it, it's on like mainly growing an art channel. I do a big segment on that, so I want that to be the focus of the thumbnail. We've got a little baby over here. Good morning. How are you today? She's like, don't look at me. So I've just took a load of photos as potential ones for the thumbnail, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this one. I like this one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, well, flip it round and put like a growth thing here to signify like growing a channel and yeah, like maybe the YouTube logo. Just before I get into doing that thumbnail, I just want to get a quick bit of lunch. Hey baby. I just want to get a quick bit of lunch and I'm just going to have some of the leftover Chinese from last night. Just a bit of rice and some beef and black bean sauce. I absolutely love the beef and black bean sauce. I think it's so good. One of my favourite Chinese dishes. Wish you were asleep. Oh, baby. Look at you all sprawled out. Look at you. You're taking up the whole sofa. Aren't you? All three seats. Oh baby, so it's, it's a hard life, isn't it, being a dog? So I've just finished doing this piece in pastel pencil, and the final thing that I did was I added a layer of colour pencil just to add a bit of definition to this piece. So this is the second one down, and now the next one that I've got to do is the lion in watercolour. So I've got this one done so far, and the portrait that I did with graphite with like the hair and part of the face. So I've done most of it, so just one more now to do. Okay, so it's five o'clock now, and I haven't actually got time to do that watercolour lion piece. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do the voiceovers for a load of my YouTube art channel videos that are going to be coming up later this week. So this is the first one that I'm going to be voiceovering, and the first thing that I do just before I do the voiceover is I actually like to look through the footage briefly and think about things that I actually want to talk about so that I know the general flow of what sort of advice I want to give and the process behind it. I need to like refresh myself on like, you know, what colours I used and the order that I did things in because it's been a while since I actually drew this. So the first thing that I'm doing with this one is obviously I created the pencil sketch and because it's pastel drawings and you use mostly a toned paper, I used a lighter pastel pencil to actually block this in. I used a white pastel pencil. So I managed to get one of them done. I managed just to get that bird one done. It did take a while to do. It was a... 13 minute voiceover but it took about half an hour to do that one so I haven't got time to do any more just yet we've got to go to my house and have dinner and I'll be going home now so I've just got to pack everything up and we'll be heading there in a couple of minutes. So I've just got back to mine and the colour pencils that I ordered yesterday or the day before have arrived and these were all of the Caran d'Ache Luminance individual pencils that I ordered. I ordered 46 different pencils and they were from Ken Bromley Art Supplies. I go through literally like one white pencil for every drawing. I use them so much. 
but I got mainly skin colours and you know white black the ones I use a lot these were £2.97 each and that is the cheapest that I've found them everywhere else like Amazon is just too expensive individually so now that I'm home I just thought I'd show you a bit of my room so like I said I mainly do my editing now at my house and in my room because this is my PC setup I used to do all my drawing over here but it became very sort of claustrophobic and yeah so then I decided to get a new setup at Darby's and so here is where I do a lot of my prints so I trim them down and package them all I've got all of my packaging supplies down here like all of my ink and stuff to mail it in and also things like display sleeves to put the prints inside over here I've got my printer like I said a few days ago it's the Epson Shaw Colour P600 and I've just got a load of random stuff on top of it that I need to tidy up next to it I've got my Epson scanner this is the V600 and down here I've got a lot of the paper that I use to make my prints so I've got the what is it this is the textured mat this is the expensive one that I use for the watercolour prints I've also got luster paper down here this is also from the Epson range they're all Epson papers so I've got matte paper and also luster paper as well I've got another blue yeti mic for down here to use when I do my voiceovers I've also got a couple of portfolio cases which I keep my art in let me know if you want me to go through some of my old art with you and I need to reorganize all the art in here actually so I might do that with you guys I've also got some photos up here this is one of me when I was really really young and I was a bridesmaid and over here is actually the first like date meal that me and Darby went on it was for his birthday and it was actually 10 days after we started going out so here I was 14 and he'd just turned 16 so it's the first time that I actually went and had a meal with all of his family and I met like his nans and everyone it was quite nerve-wracking for me because I was really young but it was really really nice and I always like looking back on this photo it's still one of my favorite photos of us both and so like I said I do a lot of my prints over here there's some more paper that I use for my prints and my stack of Harry Potters I'm actually going to watch the last one tonight I've been going through them all as I was working and doing watercolour paintings here and I've just got the last one left to watch here's actually one of the birthday cards that Darby made me a few years ago with a load of photos of us both from when we were younger and this was actually me in my prom dress this dress actually cost me like 30 quid off ebay from china but i still really like it top has just left and it's going to be really really strange being without him because i've been with him every day all day for the last sort of seven days and for us that's a lot normally we don't see each other that much but because he started working with me and he's not obviously been going to his usual job i've been with him all day every day so it's going to be really weird now not being with him for a few days and i think i'm going to miss him a bit now I'm sitting down to enjoy watching The Last Harry Potter. This is definitely my favourite franchise of films ever. I absolutely love it. I cannot watch this enough. Every time I watch it again, like my mum says, gosh, how many times have you watched that, Kirsty? But honestly, it's so good. I cannot, I never get sick of watching them. They're the best. And this is one of my favourites. I think the last couple... For some reason are my favourites. I'd love to know what is your favourite Harry Potter film? Ah. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy watching this film now and actually just rewind from quite a busy day. Okay, so it's time to answer a couple of your guys' questions. And so the first one is, do you have a routine every day? So my routine consists of waking up between half eight on a good day and potentially like half nine. And I don't have a routine like, oh, I edit between this time and this time, or I draw between this time and this time. It's more like I know what I need to get done that day. I'll have a list of things that I want to do that day. So, for example, I like to plan my month, and then I plan what I need to get done each week, and then I plan 
what I need to get done each day to achieve what I need to get done for the week. So I know the main tasks that I want to get done each day and so I'll wake up, I'll know what I've got to get done that day and then I just plan how I'm going to go about that day. So every day is very different, some days it will be more editing, other days it will be more drawing, other days it might be a lot of voiceovers or making prints and so no day is the same as the previous day which is something that I really like. I wouldn't necessarily like to have to do the exact same thing every day I like that some days I can draw more and some days I can just get into the mode of doing a lot of editing so I quite like that but the thing that I do every day now is of course edit the vlogs in the morning and I think that's nice it means that I get up early and straight away I get to edit in the vlog and I think it helps get me up early as well because I know that I've got to get it edited and I've got to get the thumbnail made so I think that definitely helps getting for getting me up early but apart from that I don't have a set routine like sometimes I don't eat lunch, sometimes I do eat lunch, I don't like take out specific breaks either. So it's very much random. I think I should get in more of a routine but it's something that I need to work on. I think as I'm working with Darby more we'll get to figuring out a schedule and a routine because I won't have so much work to do. It'll be more balanced so I'll be able to actually create a routine and a schedule and have like lunch breaks and stuff. So the next question is, have you ever thought about streaming on Twitch? And it's not something that I've thought about heavily, but obviously it's crossed my mind. I like to think a lot about different avenues and different sort of revenue streams. I like to diversify, as a few of you may know, I don't like to keep all of my eggs in one basket per se. But the reason why I haven't really thought about it too much is because like I mentioned yesterday, with live streaming, I'm not sure whether my internet or Darby's internet would actually be able to handle doing live streams. But if it does work and if I can like successfully live stream, then I might look into live streaming more. I don't like to rule anything out. And if I do wanna live stream more, I might then get into the process of deciding whether I should stream more on YouTube or on Twitch. It does make sense to me more to do it on YouTube because that's where all of my audience is. But if I went to doing like, I don't know, for example, daily live streams, which I probably would not do. But even if I did do that, then I'd probably maybe do Twitch because you wouldn't want to live stream so much on YouTube. But I don't know. It's something that is not really a priority at the moment, but it's definitely something to think about for the future. So the next question is, do you trace or do you freehand your line art or does that depend on the art you're working on? Well, for me, it depends on the art I'm working on, but more it depends on what time I have and how long I've got left to the deadline of whatever I'm working on. So for me, it comes more down to efficiency rather than like, oh, I can only trace or I can only freehand. So what I mean by this is sometimes I trace if I need to get that thing done and I'm behind schedule and mostly if it's for tutorials and I'm not necessarily talking about how to draw the sketch, but for example, if it's a tutorial on doing techniques in watercolour, then I just trace the line art because it's quick and it allows me to get onto the purpose of that tutorial a lot quicker. If I'm working on my own personal projects or if I have a bit more time, then then I do freehand stuff so or for example if it's something where it would actually take longer to trace so for example if it's a pastel drawing obviously with the pastel matte paper it's so thick and you can't like really see through it to trace and therefore it'd be hard to transfer it and in that case it's just a lot quicker to freehand it but the thing is I've got my freehanding skills up to a point where you can't really tell the difference between them so for me it just strictly comes down to efficiency and whether I do have the time to freehand or whether it's just more efficient to actually trace it but for things where it's more personal projects like original things that I want to work on like my own concepts then I do like to freehand them but anyway guys, those are all of the questions that I'm going to answer for today. If you want to ask me anything for tomorrow's vlog, then please comment it. I really want lots of your questions so that I can pick lots of things to answer. So please comment any questions that you have. It doesn't have to be art related. It could be personal. It doesn't have to be about me. It could be about Darby. Anything that you want to ask me could even be about the dog. I don't care. Just ask me some questions and I'll answer them in the next vlog. But that's it for me and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye, everybody.